Hi, it's Jason Waters and welcome to My Mortgage Minute. With us today, we have Johnny Sinclair, one of the top real estate agents in Cobb County, Georgia. Welcome, Johnny. Thank you, I'm glad to be here. Johnny and I have been friends for a long time and is a wealth of knowledge in the uh, residential real estate field. And so, you know, Johnny, it's one of the reasons I want to have you on is first of all, tell people about yourself and then just help educate folks out there about what's going on in the market. So first of all, tell us about you and how you got in the business and so forth. Yep, my name is Johnny Sinclair. I've been a real estate agent for 17 years. I live in downtown Marietta, and I primarily do real estate here in downtown Marietta. My dad was a real estate agent, and then my uh, grandmother, his mother, was the second female real estate agent in Cobb County back in the 1950s. Um, so it's been a long history in my family of real estate, and it's been a fun job. I love it. I yep. work right on the Marietta Square for a company called Ansley Atlanta. I worked 17 years at Harry Norman and then came over here uh, to the Marietta Square location last year. Awesome. And so, yeah, it's exciting about your new company and what y'all are doing here in Cobb. And Ansley was an in-town brokerage and now doing great things and representing people very well here. That's right. Um, so tell us a little bit about what you see going on in the market now folks out there that may be looking to buy, looking to sell. Uh, I hear all, I hear different stories. So what's your opinion? I would imagine I speak correctly when I say most real estate agents are surprised to be in the market that we are in right now. You know, the, the buildup to this market, I mean, we've been on a growing real estate market for quite a few years now. And real estate, by definition, is cyclical. It always goes in the real estate cycle. So a lot of us thought we would be on, on a little bit of a downturn. And uh, by this point, just because of the natural real estate cycle. But then with um, coronavirus all of a sudden coming, to a good extent, a lot of us thought, well, this is it. This was what's going to finally cause the market to turn. And in fact, the exact opposite has happened. The market has actually shot up a good bit since then. Um, primarily, I work here in Cobb County and the market here has just been spectacular. So I, I think the general consensus is that part of that is driven by low interest rates. Um, and then part of that is driven just by the popularity of Cobb County. Yeah. And, and there's wonder, not a lot on the market. So that's caused property values to just continue to go up. So it's a good time to be a seller. And it, but it's hard for a buyer to find what they want. It is, so. particularly in the lower price ranges. Anything below $500,000, it can get really competitive. Yeah, quickly. So um, I kind of wonder some, when you think about coronavirus and COVID, like I've done a lot of loans for people that are, it's amazing how many loans I do for people to get their money out of their home to build swimming pools. And so <laughs> cash out refinance for swimming pools. Mm -hmm. And so, and, or second homes, because they, I wonder if some people say, hey, I've been home a lot. Now I'm home. Now that I'm home a lot, I realize I don't really love it so much. And maybe I want to do something else. I don't know if that plays into it at all or not. Yeah, like, Absolutely, it does. I think a lot of people are stuck at home. And maybe they have thought about building a pool, or their kids or their spouse has begged them to build a pool. And all of a sudden, they think, man, it is time for me to build a pool. And the people at the pool companies are telling me that they get phone calls in essence saying, how quickly can you build me a pool? <laughs> I even yeah. want to build a pool. And there aren't enough pool companies. Not enough. If we weren't so busy in the real estate business, we'd know what to do. Exactly. So, um, okay. So what's your advice for that? Um, start with sellers. What's your advice for a seller in this market? Is that depending on price point or yeah, I would say to a seller, you know, this is such a great market for the seller to really take advantage of it. They need to have their house ready to go. Um, people before the recession of 2008, I would very often get phone calls from people who say, who said, I want to fix her up or I want something I can put a little elbow grease in it and make a little money. Nowadays, almost always they want a house that's ready to move into. So if you're a seller, have your house ready to move into and have it be kind of stylishly updated and they'll pay through the roof for it. Every time we see a sale in the real estate community here in Cobb County that kind of makes all of our minds blow, it almost always has a spectacular kitchen. Kitchens mm -hmm. and bathrooms sell houses and in fact it's kitchens that really sell houses. So I would say to a seller, if you really want to focus your energy into getting as much money as possible, Make sure your kitchen's spectacular. Make sure your house is ready to go. And then they'll get in a fight over it. Buyers will fight over your property. Perfect. Great advice. 
So now they've sold the house and they've done all those things. How do they, I guess the next challenge is it, you have to be moving up to really find the right inventory you're looking for. I mean, or else well, you're- I mean, A lot of people are trying to do a lateral move. Okay. You know, maybe they're trying to move closer to the Marietta Square or closer to the National Park, or maybe looking for a different school system or whatever they're doing, or a different school. Like if they live out in the county, you know, in Harrison and they're trying to move to a, you know, Kennesaw Mountain or something. Um, I would say to those people, you better be ready because when you find the right house, you better be ready to make an offer. You better have already talked to your lender, Jason Waters at Affinity Home Lending, but you need to go ahead and have that portion in place because if a seller gets any kind of multiple offer situation and you don't have the lending piece in place, they're going to take your offer and put it to the side and deal with the offers that have everything ready to go. Absolutely. And I've been telling buyers lately, like, we get, we did things differently. We get all their information up front. We pre-qualify them and start saying, okay, give me your income documents. Give me your asset documents. I'm going to pre-approve you. So that way, I mean, it's going to be a competitive market. So let's make you as strong as possible. Let's, let's make sure you're pre-approved, not just pre-qualified. And so right. it's going to be different to the eye of that, the eyes of that other agent. Then I get a phone with the other agent sometimes. They're like, are you sure they're good? I'm like, absolutely. Let's go. So, and then of course, I, I, I'm sure that you counsel people who want to buy a house as to what kind of loan to get. Obviously, the, the stronger they appear financially in the seller's eyes, the more likely the seller is to choose their offer. For exactly. example, if they're putting down 20%, the seller's going to get excited. If they're putting down 0%, but financing <laughs> the entire purchase price, little going to say, tell me where you're getting this loan. So. Exactly. Yeah. So what else, do you, what else do you have that, you know, you think is valuable information for any homeowner out there? Yeah. In particular, I was thinking about those buyers. And in fact, you and I share a buyer right now who is, um, is buying a house. And if a buyer can only afford say $300,000 in the city of Marietta, it's amazing to me how often they get beat out just with a cash deal. Um, yeah. So they need to be, I mean, they need to be prepared and be ready, but I mean, it's like a fight out there. Anything that's priced below 300,000 in the entire county, to some extent, there's going to be multiple offers. And you got to make sure your offer is in fact the strongest one out there, yeah. the cleanest one out there. And you got to have a real estate agent who knows how to write a clean offer and network with the other real estate agents, because yeah. you'd be amazed how important it is that your real estate agent's reputation be good and their ability to work well with other Absolutely. agents. Because if another agent has six offers on the table, they're going to want to work with somebody they trust and that they know is easy to, to get along with. You know, I've been trying, one, I, one thing I've been doing for my clients, the buyers, is if, I, if there's any possible way to underwrite them without a contingency, to underwrite them without a contingency. That's a great point. And I'm sorry and be, to think of it. And even be creative on it. Like, so for example, if someone, someone may have the cash, but they don't have the income, I mean, I underwrite it where we're doing a rental conversion on their current home. So we know, hey, they don't have to sell their home, they, but they do have to rent it out. Yeah. And that's, a, that's, stronger, yep. that's stronger than having to sell your home. I also find that a lot of times um, people who are, who are trying to buy a house, oftentimes they get beat out on one or two or maybe three deals. And then they get, start to get a little panicked. And they tell yep. their real estate agent, you know, just bid it up. I can afford 350, so bid it up to 350. And you got to remember that you, the house still has to appraise. Exactly. And it may not. And so you have to put more money down. That's you have to right. be willing to pay for it, even if it doesn't appraise. Right. So, exactly. Well, um, I think that's, that's great information for There's everyone. one other thing I wanted to discuss with you. Yeah. Typically, about once every two weeks, I will sit down at the computer. And, it, you know, my kind of micro market is the city of Marietta. Sure. So once every two weeks, I'll sit down and pull up all of the inventory in the city of Marietta. So I look up single family housing and, you know, just kind of look at it. I see what's gone under contract, what's sold in the past two weeks, just to kind of keep my brain attuned to how the market is reacting to different houses. Typically in, in Marietta city limits, there's about 149 houses for sale, not including condos and not including townhouses, just single family houses. There's about 149. It goes up to you know, 159, it goes down to 142. It fluctuates obviously all the time, but that has been a steady number for several years. Periodically, we have been down to 
um, in the 112s, 113 houses for sale. And I thought to myself, man, inventory is low. Well, then about a month ago, I checked the system and it was down to 94. Oh, wow. A few weeks ago, I checked and it was down to 84, 84 houses for sale. So that is almost one half of the normal inventory that we usually have in the city of Marietta. So you've got all these people looking for houses to live in Marietta and there's just nothing available. So that's jacking the price up. It is causing more competition. Um, and, and so I've been telling that story around Marietta for several weeks. And in fact, I just pulled it up right here on the computer. We're back up to 91 houses. So as of today, there's 91 single family houses on the market, which is it's certainly an improvement, but it's still radically lower than what we usually see. Well, thank you for tuning in. That's all the time we have for today. Johnny, if folks want to get in touch with you, how would they do that? They can email me at any time. My email is Johnny Sinclair at AnsleyAtlanta.com. That's A-N-S-L-E-Y Atlanta.com. Or they can call me or text me anytime on my cell phone. Cell phone number is 770-605-4755. And likewise, you can get in touch with me by calling or texting me 404-403-8787. You can email me at my website or my email address, jason at watersteam.co. Until next time, stay safe out there. Thanks, Jason. Thank you.